my son, he was seven in the summer and he just started wiping himself, whereas I've got a two year old that wants to wipe herself now and I have to get there as quick as I can because she just goes, Mama, I've done it! Oh. <laughs> and she just makes a big mess. There is one aspect of toilet training that puts so many parents into complete turmoil and that is how on earth do we teach a child how to clean their bottom? Would you agree? Definitely. <laughs> I was one of those parents. Yeah. Um, with Because I've got a boy and three girls. So it's completely different with a boy and with the girls, I find anyway. I don't know if you've found the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's actually something that I am really asked about a lot because obviously we know that it's really important that we ensure that the area below is kept really clean, particularly for girls. Yes. However, it is wise that girl or boy, they are taught basically to clean from front to back. That is yeah. the best, most effective way and the most hygienic way to keep them clean. I think as adults, we really take for granted, you know, cleaning ourselves and wiping ourselves clean. Mm -hmm. But for a child, it takes a lot to learn how yeah. to effectively clean themselves. Yeah, because my son, he was seven in the summer and he just started wiping himself. Whereas I've got a two year old that wants to wipe herself now and I have to get there as quick as I can because she just goes, Mama, I've done it. Oh. <laughs> and she just makes a big mess. <laughs> yes. it's. A challenging milestone so for me it's better to lead with the child in question rather than necessarily wow. trying to have a regimented approach for each sibling. The thing with learning how to wipe actually before they'd ever be capable of getting themselves very clean they need to have the dexterity the understanding and you know the, all the fine motor skills involved it's actually really challenging to yeah. be able to clean yourself effectively yeah, so it's something that I implement into play it's something that we learn outside of the bathroom environment even things as simple as popping little stickers um, at the their lower back and having them reach round and peel the sticker off that's very close to the kind of skills that they need yeah. when it comes to wiping their bottom that's a good idea actually because that was one of the things with my son when we first did it he was going I can't reach I can't oh. reach so making it fun keeping it upbeat involve the favourite teddy or a doll and give them that visual aid so they can actually see what it is that yeah. you know you have to do and involve them. That makes you so are. much sense. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about the difference between using wet products or dry products? Do you think there's a best way to do it or...? Yeah, that's a really good question. Honestly, I don't think there is a best way or the right way. But I do find that using a washlet or something that yeah. is wet can really help them get very clean and that sets yeah. them off you know, with a really good foundation of understanding about personal hygiene. Yeah, what I've done in the past is I've gone in with the washlet and then they've gone over with the tissue because then I know Brilliant. that they're clean yes. and then they're kind of having a practice with tissue. Exactly, yeah. Obviously your child's going to find themselves in an environment where there is a 